Okay, tonight is a very special night for sci-fi fans living in England. If you're a sci-fi fan, you live in England and you've got Freeview or Sky, turn over to film 4. They've got the entire 10 or however many films it is of Star Trek this weekend. Today and tomorrow, that's Saturday and Sunday. Uh, yeah. If you're a fan of Star Trek, or just a fan of sci-fi, uh, turn over and watch them. I'm about to watch them right now. I mean, these films are, are well old. I mean, this one that's about to come on is uh, the fourth film, and it was made in 1986, which is one year before I was born. Uh, First time I saw a sci-fi film or program, I think was probably it was either Star Trek or Doctor Who. It'd be one or the other. I mean, back when I was younger, we had. I think the first Doctor Who I ever saw was Tom Baker, and of course the first Star Trek I ever saw was Captain Kirk. I didn't really like Captain Kirk, but, yeah. He was too... up himself. But that's besides the point. And, you know, since I've started watch since I first started watching sci-fi, I remained a sci-fi fan. I mean, yeah, I like comedies and other things, but, you know, uh, I watched, I've watched nearly every sci-fi series I can think of. Most of the Star Treks, Andromeda, Space 1999, uh, Lex, Farscape, Red Dwarf, Alien, Predator, Alien vs. Predator, <laughs> uh, Mars Attacks, World Worlds, Daily Earths are still. Forbidden Planet, uh, Mission to Mars, Red Planet, um, yeah, just any sci-fi film or series you could think of, I've probably seen. And anyway, you could probably say something about comedies and that really, you know, and, and or even into uh, romance films. Uh, not too much of romance, so you know. Richard Jones's diary. There's something about Mary when Harry met Sally. Sleepless in Seattle. You know, <laughs> making me sound a bit weird now, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm sleepless in Seattle. No, um, yeah, it's just. But sci-fi has always been one of my big likes, uh, as you'd say, and. Uh, Especially Star Trek. I mean, Star Trek's one of the biggest series that's ever been made in sci-fi, isn't it? I mean, it's had the most episodes. And I, I'm counting Star Trek, uh, The Next Generation, Voyager, De Deep Space Nine, Enterprise. You know, all series. You know, it's been going on for years and years and years, and it'll probably never stop. And it's good to have a long-running sci-fi that's still as good now as it used to be. It might, might even be better, well it is better now than it used to be, because we've got better uh, technology and stuff, haven't we? Uh, but yeah, so now I'm going to enjoy watching Star Trek with film number four, The Voyage Home. And what you might know is that Star Trek film number three, the search for Spock actually has a bloke in it who you should also know from a different sci-fi series, Christopher Lloyd, <laughs> from Back to the Future. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we'll carry on watching this now and see you all later. Live long and prosper. Yeah, that was an obvious thing to say, wasn't it? I'll leave you with this. Chalkwish. Juta Lopu!